Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria from Keep You Holistic, where I talk about healthy living, motherhood, and more. And today, or I should say this week, the next week and a half, I'm gonna be cooking up some yummy soups, and these are perfect for winter, nice and cozy. They are gonna be more traditional, whole foods, kind of Weston A price, maybe not exactly, but really comfy, cozy, and warm, and delicious. So stick around, we're going into the kitchen now to cook up some soup. So today is New Year's Eve and on New Year's it's my family's tradition to do seafood. So I'm making a seafood chowder tonight for dinner and you can do this with any type of seafood. I think right now all I have is shrimp. I have to check. I might have some crab but you can do like lobster or scallops, whatever you have on hand and it makes a really delicious seafood chowder. To make shrimp chowder first you're going to saute half of an onion and two cloves of garlic and butter. Then you're going to add one pound of shrimp to the pot and cook until the shrimp is pink. Remove the shrimp from the pot and peel and devein the shrimp and set aside. Add two cups of seafood stock, two cups of heavy cream, one cup of whole milk, Then add one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Bring the pot to a boil, and then you're gonna add two potatoes that are cubed to the pot and cook until the potatoes are soft. Bring the pot back down to a simmer and add one half cup of white wine and add the shrimp back into the pot. So that was really yummy. My family really liked that. It was really nice for New Year's. And in the next few days, I'm going to be making a split pea and ham soup. And we have some leftover ham from Christmas. So that's going to be perfect because we have that leftover ham bone and leftover ham. So if you ever have ham, save your ham bone because <laughs> then you can make some really good soups with it. Tonight for dinner, we are having slow cooker split pea and ham soup. And you start by adding two cups of water to your slow cooker. Then you're going to add a whole ham hock and one pound of split peas. Next, you'll add some veggies, including two medium carrots chopped, two celery stalks chopped, a half medium white onion diced, and two cloves of garlic minced. Add a bay leaf, some salt, pepper, and thyme. Slow cook on high for four hours or on low for six to eight hours. Once your soup is cooked, remove the ham hock and the bay leaf. Shred the meat and add it back into the pot.
Here I am making a Reuben soup and it's just like the sandwich except in a soup form. And you start by sauteing half of a yellow onion diced and two cloves of garlic minced and butter. Once your onion is translucent, add four cups of bone broth and one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Then you'll add half a cup of mayo, some salt, and two teaspoons of paprika. To thicken the soup, I slowly add arrowroot starch while stirring. Before you go to serve your soup, you're going to add a half pound of corned beef that has been thinly sliced and cut into strips and stir. To finish off the Reuben soup, I topped it with homemade sourdough rye bread, homemade sauerkraut, and Swiss cheese. It's just like a deli sandwich. Like a sandwich that you get at the deli. Mm -hmm. For our last soup recipe, we made slow cooker white chicken chili, and you need one and a half pounds of chicken breasts, two cups of white beans, 32 ounces of chicken bone broth, two to three cloves of garlic minced, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, a pinch of cayenne pepper, salt to taste, the juice from one lime, one four ounce can of hatch green chilies, and one teaspoon of white pepper. Slow cook on high for five to six hours, stirring occasionally. Once the soup has fully cooked, pull the chicken out and shred it. Add the chicken back into the pot and add two cups of corn and three to four tablespoons of cream cheese. For the toppings, I use crumbled tortilla chips, shredded Monterey Jack cheese, sliced avocado, and jalapenos. So those are just a few of the yummy soup recipes we've been having this past week. And with these recipes, it's really easy to customize them. So if you are non-dairy, you can easily substitute like cream and the cream cheese. You can substitute that for coconut cream. And you can get a non-dairy cheese if you wanna put that on top, like for the white chicken chili, for example. So uh, the links to all these recipes are gonna be in the description box below. So be sure to check those out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. You all guys.